So a customer just brought us in their PC for a repair today and they said that it keeps shutting down. So let's go ahead and diagnose and see what's wrong with this PC, shall we? So generally, if your PC is randomly shutting down, it's most likely one of two things. Number one is maybe it's overheating. So check your liquid cooler, check your temps, make sure it's not that. If it's not that and it's still shutting down randomly on you, it could be a faulty power supply. Make sure you also plug your PC either into like a power UPS surge protector or sometimes even power bars that are really ancient. They also can randomly shut down the PC. I've seen it happen. So without further ado, let's begin. Let's start testing it out. See if it randomly shuts down on us. Right now it seems okay. It's gone into Windows. So I can see here that the customer already has HW Monitor installed. If you don't have HW Monitor installed, go ahead and download it. It's a free to use software and it's amazing. It tells the temperature of your computer, shows the temperature of your GPU, your CPU, and it does a great job keeping track of your temperatures. So let's go ahead and open it up and let's check his temps. I wanna make sure the PC is not overheating before I start diagnosing any of the other parts. So let's see. So his CPU is at 42 degrees, 49. It's a little toasty on idle, but nothing crazy. I really like using Cinebench a lot. It does a great job checking your CPU, making sure that the CPU is functional. So without further ado, let's go ahead and do that. So a lot of people ask though, how are you gonna check your power supply? If the computer's running but randomly shuts down, you have two options. First option is either just get a brand new power supply, which is kind of costly. So the second option that I like to do is I like to download Cinebench and GPU Haven. Together, these two will pull a lot of watts, especially if you put it on the high setting, and you can check if your power supply is just not pulling enough watts. Okay, so real quick, I just noticed something as I was installing Cinebench, the CPU hit 100 Celsius while I was installing Cinebench, not running it, but installing it. So to me, that means Overheating issue might not be out of the question. Now I did double check that everything is plugged in. Obviously the RGB isn't working, you probably didn't connect that, but the pump is actually plugged in because when it's not in use, it idles at 41 degrees Celsius. So I don't know, I don't feel really confident launching Cinebench just because I don't wanna over, over overheat a CPU, but I'm just gonna, just for one second, I wanna see if the test spikes it back up to 100 degrees which, oh, it's already at 100 degrees. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that. And like I said, if it's hitting that temperature while just installing something, I think it's definitely overheating. So let's go ahead and shut this computer down and check out what's going on. Usually if it's overheating like this and it's a brand new cooler, it's one of two things. The most important is you probably didn't mount it correctly. So I've seen it happen where the mounting screws aren't the right ones. Sometimes people use AMD instead of Intel, like for this one. Um, another thing too is peels are sometimes left on. Or number three, which is more rare, is it's just a dead pump. So let's go ahead and take it out, take out all these cables, and let's have a look at the CPU. All right, so let's go ahead and lay this computer down. I can see his cable management wasn't the best, but that's not why the PC is overheating. So let's go ahead and take this cooler off, and I wanna make sure that it's using the correct mounting hardware, and you know, there's thermal paste, obviously. So let's go ahead and check it out. So judging by the four mounting screws, it does look like he's using the correct ones. You see why it's overheating? Make sure you take off your peels. Guys, it even says here, warning, please remove peel before installing. So that's, that's the reason why he's overheating. So let's go ahead and get that out. So I'm gonna get rid of any old thermal paste just like that. And let's go ahead and add in a little bit more. I usually like to do a little, little tiny X pattern. You don't wanna add too much thermal paste, but you also wanna make sure that it's evenly coated and each part of the CPU gets a little bit of paste. So let's just go ahead and put that back down. Okay, so we got the cooler on and let's go ahead and plug it in and see if this fixed the overheating issue. From my experience, this definitely fixed the overheating issue. So I'm gonna launch up Cinebench again, HW monitor. I kinda wanna just make sure that it's not overheating even though I'm pretty sure it was just the peel. Generally, if you have an i9 and you're running Cinebench, sometimes, yeah, it'll hit 100 degrees Celsius. It's pretty normal, but it should take a little bit of time at least before that happens. 
All right, so now that we're back in the computer, I'm gonna go ahead and open up HLA monitor, check his idle temps. I remember before it was hitting around 49-ish idle. So uh, let's just check idle temp. Oh, and you can see here, his, his cores, his megahertz, just went right back up. Before it was thermal throttling too. I saw it was all at like 1000 megahertz. So it's good that the cores are up now. Um, and the actual package, CPU's at 36. Okay, that's really good. Now let's check the temps with Cinebench. Go ahead and hit start. And his package is at 72 degrees. Well, and his package is at 75 degrees. So we know it's just a bad peel. Uh, if you're ever building on your first computer, make sure you remove this peel right here. I can't say personally, I've never done this because I have done it in the past. So just be careful. Sometimes I know you're rushing a build or if you have a couple builds that you're doing, just take off the peel and problem solved. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Until the next video, a peace.